fiction authors are known for their whack job political notions. For instance, Margaret Atwood once wrote an entire book about how she thinks chicken nuggets are evil. But none are more famous for their crazy political views than military warshipping fascist Robert Heinlein. See, back in 1997, Paul Verhoeven made a film based on Heinlein's novel, Starship Troopers, and managed to infuse it with exactly the necessary tone. Lots and lots of boobs. Now, eight years later, someone decided to make a game based on the movie. Unfortunately, they decided to scrap the co-ed shower scenes and right-wing politics and just stick to shooting space bugs. Here's our view of Starship Troopers. <laughs> I hate bugs. They get caught in your teeth when you ride a motorcycle. They're obsessed with rotting tissue and they appear in really bad first-person shooters. You've spent eight long years forgetting the horror that is Denise Richards trying to emote. I'm gonna be a pilot. Now, Starship Troopers for the PC brings it all up again. Despite its tardy appearance, Starship Troopers the game fits right in with Starship Troopers the movie. One, because it has the propaganda presentation and rough and tumble soldier talk. Hey, shoot a nuke down a bug hole, you got a lot of dead bugs. And two, because it looks like a game that would have come out about eight years ago. They must have gotten a government subsidy for using dark blue and gray, because Starship Troopers just loves bland. And the troopers themselves aren't any better. That's a polygon count only a mother could love. But she doesn't have to look good if she's got the moves, right? Well, from the moment you fire your rifle on the target range, you'll know the $40 you shelled out would have been better spent buying Alka-Seltzer to feed the seagulls. Okay, maybe that's unfair. What do you have to say about it, Casper Van Dien? I'm gonna play. They'll at least have one person playing. Well, my kids, too. The older ones. Don't make your kids play it. I like that. Yeah. Starship Troopers boasts epic battles of 300 enemy bugs on screen at once. And they technically deliver. But the bugs are so stupid, they have to throw 300 at you to make it interesting. Take this impressive vista. A sea of bugs and only I can stop the invasion. Actually, I never fired a shot while waiting for the next objective. Now that's a compelling game. What do you think, Casper Van Dien? The older ones. And don't worry about running out of ammo. Your main rifle has infinite rounds. That's right, infinite rounds. Starship Troopers favors blind firing at a gajillion bugs over strategy. A lot of fun, too. For about three and a half minutes. Okay, only two minutes. I like that. Yeah. The mindless shooting might have been redeemed by some cool toys. The shotgun and rocket launcher that covers half the screen are not them. There's a multiplayer element we wanted to show you, but there wasn't anyone online playing. Anyone. Yeah, this game is a piece of crap. It's sad to see the glory days of Michael Ironside shooting bugs in the face fade into tedious gunfire. <sighs> and for those of you that hated the movie, it's called Satire People. Yum, yum, yum. Not even Paul Verhoeven thinks Casper Van Dien is a good actor. No, that hurts. I like that. Yeah. Starship Troopers earns itself a big fat fascist too. I'm gonna be a pilot. Out of five. That game sucks. See, the movie Starship Troopers was bad, but in an enjoyable way. This game is bad in an I don't want to play it way. If you want so bad it's fun games, look to the Metal Gear series. Naked guys, bad acting and cutscenes. No, you want video game camp? I got three words for you. Barbie, horse, adventure.